and I have a very important message for the corporate offices of Trader Joe's, of Whole Foods, of Target, of Walmart. Oh my God, you could not look more like a Karen stereotype, even if you tried. Costco, Stater Brothers, CVS, Walgreens, and any other store that is doing business in the state of California. Let me be very clear. There is no mask mandate in California. New coronavirus hotspots are emerging across the country, and that has investors worried. You saw that in yesterday's action. Meg Terrell joins us right now. She has more on this story. Uh, Meg, what are we seeing right now? Hey, Becky. Well, yesterday, the U.S. in total reported more than 22,000 new cases. There is no mask mandate in California. 22,000 new cases. There is no law that was issued by the governor requiring the wearing of a mask. In the first place, the governor cannot create law. He is not a lawmaker. He is an administrator. Let's just review the fact that only a licensed medical professional is qualified to give medical advice, including the advice to wear a mask. Why is it so hard for Karens to understand that masks are there to help stop the spread of this illness? Look, Karen, if you think the 5G is going to read your mind, believe me, you're not that interesting. I highly doubt the FBI is bothered about your search history of which cat looks the chunkiest. I don't know if your cashiers are licensed medical professionals or your managers or your district managers or the people outside with the shopping carts or the baggers in the store. I doubt they are and they are not allowed to give medical advice. That also carries a penalty if you are practicing medicine without a license. That's what number two says. It is an offense punishable by law. I know you don't want these lawsuits. I know you don't want to waste your time and money and be in the news with all of these negative um, repercussions. There is no law in California, no statutory law that was passed by our legislative body that requires anyone to wear a mask in. Back to square one. California shuts down most of its public life for the second time. Wow, it's almost as if that Karen didn't know what she was talking about. Good job. So in today's episode of To Catch a Karen, we're going to be looking at this absolute tank. How many of you guys, before going to, let's say, the dentist, like in this clip I'm going to show you, speak to an attorney before going? Oh, what's that? You're not a Karen? That's right, because in this clip, this Karen doesn't understand why she has to wear a mask while visiting the dentist. It's pretty funny listening to her cry about it, so let's watch. You're gonna work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting my teeth cleaned. But it's about the safety of all of our- Fine, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not- you're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our- You can't take my temperature. That's against the law. All right, well, I can't- You're not an MD. We're not allowed to- no, I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the AM manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here. Wait, wait, just, wait, 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 just so I understand this, she rang up an attorney before going to the dentist. Why? Do Karens have the book of being a bitch next to her bed so they can read up their ridiculous rights to such a simple request? So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? Let's get this done, okay? I, I can't, yeah. they're telling me I can't see you. Who's there? The owner of the practice. I want to hear him. Get him on the phone. He has to send me in written writing, so I want to see him. You shouldn't be in the building without a mask either. I can do what I want. No, I'm you free. Can't. It's this not a law. It's not a law. This is a medical law. No, it's a dental office. I love how even when there's signs written up saying you are required to wear a mask, these Karens feel so entitled and precious they need their own personal note of it being said that you need a mask on. It's just like Karen, shut up. Regardless of it being the law, it's the rule set in place. You wouldn't go into a restaurant and take a dump in the soup and then say there's not a law saying you can't do that. I'm pretty sure it's a universal law you don't take a dump in the soup. But let's move on to our next Karen. But today's Karen is this man who threatens this teenager who is just doing his job and he threatens him with his medical exemption as to why he's not wearing a mask. No, it's not his giant pee pee, it's his gun. He literally shows his gun as his medical exemption as to why he's not wearing a mask. Let's check it out. So a man walked in and uh, 
he didn't have a mask on. He was wearing uh, a MAGA hat, the Make America Great Again hat, and uh, a red jacket. And uh, so I asked him kindly if he could go get his mask or if he had a mask. And uh, he said he had an exemption. So I asked him if I could see the exemption just to make sure. And then he showed me his gun saying that that was his exemption. And then he cited some law that I can't remember now because I was too busy looking at his gun. Uh, and so I told him I need to go talk to my uh, owner. Then my owner talked, uh, yelled more so uh, with the uh, gentleman and uh, eventually he left. I just graduated high school. I'm working in a minimum wage job, but just to save up from college. And then I've got to tell this dude to wear a mask because that's what, you know, I'm required to do by law. And he's going to shoot me because of that. So yeah, just like the young man said, imagine working already at a job you don't want to do, dealing with honestly the stupidest type of people known to man, which is customers like this, and someone threatens to shoot you because you're following the rules. It's the stupidest thing I've seen in 2020. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's not, it's the cost benefit analysis is just not, you know, it doesn't work. <laughs> the whole thing went for like, I don't know, probably less than five minutes so we didn't have any time to like you know call the cops and have them get here i feel like you know he wasn't there to like like shoot anybody he was there to make a statement when you involve a gun into it um when you're trying to make a statement with a gun it doesn't become a statement it turns into a threat i felt like he was probably gonna like his first reaction to having worn a mask was to shoot me a 18 year old just doing his job I could honestly say I'd be so disappointed in myself if I survived this pandemic only to then go back to work and be shot by some moron who's so easily defeated by the thought of wearing a mask. I really hope this guy is taken to jail or something because this is ridiculous and just completely unacceptable. What an absolute Karen. While I was editing this video, I found this absolute gem of a picture online. Just check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Folks, a new batch of masks arrived, beautiful and super comfortable. It allows for much easier breathing in addition to the delicacy and femininity that this Tully mask brings to the female face. You can now order, girls. Look, if I wanted to wear something which makes me look like I'm working for Pablo Escobar and I'm sending out his next shipment, or if I was going to go look around in a pond for some tadpoles, that's something I'd wear. But that's absolutely useless. That's a stupid product. Get in the bin, Karen. So that is it for the second episode of To Catch a Karen. If you guys have any Karen clips, send them to me on social media. I would love to see them. Stay safe out there, guys. The Karens are out there. There is no mask mandate in California. 22,000 new cases.